The forest wellness week videos were recorded prior to the stricter general community quarantine announced last March 21, 2021, and in accordance with the then existing protocols. We are reminding everyone to stay indoors, observe social distancing and other health and safety protocols if doing the exercises with other people. The Philippines joins the international community in celebrating the International Day of Forests every March 21 to celebrate and raise awareness on the importance of forests. This year's theme, Forest Restoration, A Path to Recovery and Well-Being, highlights the role of forests amid the pandemic by safeguarding our physical, emotional, and mental well-being and boosting economic growth through green jobs. The DENR FMB's Forest Wellness Week showcases urban green spaces as venues for improvement of well-being and healing through a series of online fitness classes. Today, we are bringing you to Washington Sisip Park in Legaspi Village, Makati City. Opened in 2006, it was presented to Filipino-American accountant and banker Mr. Washington Sisip on the occasion of his 85th birthday and in recognition of his outstanding contributions to the Philippine business community. The park is composed of many indigenous trees and plants that provide cool comfort and shield visitors from the bustle outside. Its amenities include gazebos, stone benches, a koi pond, and numerous sculptures made by Filipinos for those who want to relax, read, or spend some quiet time. Joining us now from the Washington Seasip Park for the Shadow Karate Session, here is Sensei Ramil. Good morning, I'm Ramil Javier and I'm a first degree black belt of the International School of Karate Federation and I'm here at Washington Seasip Park in Magadi and I'm about to do Shadow Karate. And what you can expect from this is number one, get more uh, mobility after doing it and number two you get a great cardiovascular workout which means it works your lungs and not to mention your um, Now before we start everything uh, we have to start with the warm-up first so that your joints will be loose and your lungs and your heart will be more than ready for the activity. So first things first let's take care of the um, cardio part now we'll start with a few jumping jacks so no need to go fast on this portion as long as you keep moving and if you notice I can still talk so I'm not going too fast just a few now we can stop there I suggest around 20 to 30 reps of that now Next, uh, to prepare your hips and your legs for some kicking, let's do a bit of high knees. So for high knees, um, you may place your hands uh, hip height or not, up, not at all. But for the sake of demonstration, I'll place it in front. Now from here, I'll bring one knee up, then the other. Now I'll do it at medium speed. So. Twenty reps of that will suffice. Now to prepare your hamstring and your butt for some kicking as well because uh, you want them to be warm. Otherwise, it's gonna hurt. We'll do some butt kicks. Same, 20 per leg. You may place your hands behind your butt or not at all, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna place it behind my butt. So,
Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm breathing hard up, uh, for a bit. Now, let's loosen up our joints this time. Now, we'll start from the bottom. So, from here, we'll rotate our knees first. So, do it uh, 10 clockwise, then 10 counterclockwise. So next, let's rotate our ankles just to be sure that your ankle joints are warm. If you have something to hold on to um, for the ankle rotations, please do so. In my case right now, I have nothing to hold on to, so I'll rely on balance. So one foot off the, off the floor, then from here, I'll rotate clockwise, then then counterclockwise, then I'll do it on the other foot. More challenging if you're not holding on to something, but the important thing for both is to keep pressure on the floor. Okay, now the most important joint in my opinion today uh, to warm up is your hip. So, we won't just do one warm up for the hip. We'll probably do a lot today. From here, feet, shoulder width apart. You may hold uh, your hip or not at all. Now, we'll do some rotations. And clockwise. Then 10 counterclockwise. Just making sure your hip, your Hips are moving in a full range of motion. Next one for the hip again. You may stand shoulder width or more than shoulder width. Now from here, bend over, bend over, then reach for your foot. So I'm gonna angle again. So reach. Do it 10 per side. Oh. Next one. I'll let's reach down, then reach up. Now the primary mover here are not your hands, it's your hips. So bend back, then bend forward. Back forward, do it for 10 reps again. Be good. Now, just to warm up your quads or the front of your legs, we'll do a bit of squatting. Now for your squats, go as low as you can. Try not to relax your back. Keep it as straight as possible. Now from here, pause. Just pause for a bit, then stand up. Let's do um, 10 to 15 reps of these. Not only does it warm up your quads, it warms up your hips. Because we'll be doing a lot of kicking today. Now, let's not forget our shoulders because, of course, we'll be doing some punching and a bit of blocking today. Stand shoulder width. From here, just throw your hands forward first. Let's do it. 10 per arm. Okay, involve your hips on this one. The important thing is that you're throwing your arms in a relaxed manner. So if you notice my hands, you're very relaxed. Now this time, sideways. Now for this one, 
open up your chest and your shoulders. Okay, now on the next one, we'll do shoulder rotations. Now for this, let's start with your hands on your side. Just let your shoulder do all the work. Now from here, 10 clockwise. And counterclockwise. Let's evolve the arms a bit. Just a few rotations. Now, don't start with huge rotations. Just let it go bigger. And other way. Same, start small, let it grow big. Next, we'll rotate our wrist because we'll be forming a fist. For the fist, you want this to be warm. Otherwise, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Now from here, hands forward. Make sure your elbows are on your side so that you can isolate your wrist. Then do it on the other side. Same, 10 clockwise, 10 counterclock. Uh, now for today, we're gonna work up to this combination. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate it first, then we'll work our way up there. So from here, step back, two, knee strike, kick. From here, hook punch and turn. Same thing, one, two, knee, kick, turn, one, two, knee, kick, hook punch, one, two, knee. Then we go back here. So, We'll work our way back. Uh, we'll work our way through this combination. Now, if you notice, I included um, movements like straight punch, hook punch, knee strike, then the roundhouse kick. We'll warm our way uh, through those movements so that we can do it safely and smoothly. Now. Let's focus on doing it smoothly because doing it smoothly means you can do it fast eventually. Now first, we'll practice the straight punch. Now, this is the cornerstone movement of karate. Now, I'm simplifying it for you guys because usually for the straight punch, it starts from the hip. It ends with the hip. Now, this time we'll keep it short. We'll start with your elbows on your tummy or on your rib. Then from here, um, I'll show it from this angle. From here, don't think of throwing your hand. Throw your elbow through the middle. So here, elbow to the middle. Elbow to the middle. Elbow to the middle. I'm involving a bit of hip twisting. So if it happens to you, it's perfectly fine. Now from here, just relax, close your fist, but don't clench it too hard, just relax. Now from here, follow me, so one, two, three, then four, then five, then six, seven, then eight, then nine, then ten. Now, if you notice, I'm not shrugging my shoulders up and throwing it, nor am I clenching it too hard. You want that fist to come fast. And speaking of fast, if you notice, the moment I extend my arm, I retract it back. Uh, I'm doing it to generate speed. Now, again, that's the focus, speed. Now, how will you generate speed? You relax, make it smooth. So one more time. Hands up, elbows on your ribs, then we'll do it again. One, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, seven, eight, then nine, then ten. 
So hopefully you're getting the feel of straight punching. Now we'll do it one last time. Hands up, elbows on your rib. Just relax. Let's try it again. Then one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight, then nine, then ten. So now we'll pra practice hook punching. Now for hook punch, still we'll still focus on the elbow. So elbow. Elbow going up into the side. So one, two, and then three. Now you can involve the hip on this one. So if you notice, I'm rotating using my foot and my hip. So let's try it. So try it slow first. So one, then back. Two, then back. Three, then back. Four, then back. Five, then back. Six, then back. Seven, then back. Eight, then back. Nine, then back. Ten, then back. So, same thing. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. Relax, relax. It will get hard. Take my word for it. So, just relax. The speed will come eventually. So. Relax, elbows up. So we'll start again. Then one, then two, then three, then four, five, six, seven, then eight, then nine, and then ten. So relax a bit. We'll try that again. We'll try that again. Now, if if you're feeling it right now, your hips are rotating on their own. Don't fight it. Don't fight that hip rotation. That hip rotation is gonna help you generate more power and more speed. It's gonna be more tiring, yes, but that's the right way of doing it. So again, elbows up. We'll try it one last time. Just relax, let your hips do all the work. Your hands will follow. So one, then two, three, the four, the five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Good. So we'll practice the kicks. Now, your primary movement for the kick is your knee strike. So, I'll angle from the side. Now, if you notice, I'm gonna bring my knee up. Now, when I bring my knee up, Depending on your flexibility, you can bring it higher or you can bring it hip height. So let's aim for hip height first. Then it will eventually go higher. So here, without the help of your hands, just let your knees go up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight, then nine, then ten. So maybe you can rotate your hips a bit just to loosen it up some more. So one more time. Just relax your, same thing. Just relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, relax your hands. Just relax, let this do the work. So one, then two, then three, then four. Then five, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine, then ten. So, if you notice, I'm able to violently bring my hip up because I'm more relaxed. So, by if you notice my face, struggling. Now, the more you struggle, the slower your kick will get. So, just relax. Now we'll do it one more time. One more time. From here, one, then two, then three, then four, five, then six, then seven, then eight, 
the ninth, the tenth. So now we'll do the roundhouse kick. This will be the final kick for today. So same mechanic. It might not look similar, but it is similar. So I'll show it from this angle. From here, hip up. We'll do it like this. So hip up or knees up. My bad. Then from here. If this is my belly button facing here, it should face the camera. From here, turn, then kick. Then back. And try not to aim too high as to lose your balance. Let's aim for the hip first so that we can maintain balance. Or if your flexibility won't allow it, maybe some, somewhere low. So, one more time, hip up, then back, hip up, turn, then back, hip up, turn, then back, and one more, hip up, turn, then back. Now, of course, you cannot neglect the other side, so let's try it, hip up, turn, then back, hip up, turn, then back, hip up, turn, back hip up turn then back one one more hip up turn then back now if you notice the mechanic I'm bringing my knee up then I'm turning then I'm bringing it back now it might be too complex for some of you so try to do it as only as fast as you can without breaking balance so of course, for the others, if you can do it fast, let's do it. We'll face this way again. Now, this time, we'll do it in one motion. So, on my count, we'll kick. So, one, down. Two, then down. Three, then down. Four, then down. Then five, then down. Now, let's face this way. You got this, guys. So one, then down, two, then down, three, then down, four, then down, then one more, kick, then down. Just to be sure, let's try it one more time. You may rotate your hip just to loosen it up some more. Let's face this way again. So. One, two, three, four, then five. Let's face this way. If you can do it faster, by all means do it faster. So one, two, three, four, then one more. Now, ready to do the combination and we will build it slowly now if you notice in my first part I step back then did one two we'll practice that part first so we'll do this for both sides meaning a step back with this leg then one two. now I'll angle from this side how long should your step be comfortable enough minus shoulder width that's perfectly fine and from here so take your hip and punch so one then two if you can generate speed by relaxing by all means do it but try not to aim to do it too fast at least for now so let's try that stand up step back one two back now let's step back on the other leg step back Two, then back. Then other leg, then back. Other leg, one, two, then back. Other leg, one, two, then back. Then one more. Step back, then back. With this, I tend to do some rotations after every set so that I can loosen up my joints somewhere. Now, let's try that one more time.
this is the most basic step for today. So I'm pretty confident you can do it. So let's try it again. So from here, step back, one, two, then forward. Other leg, step back, one, two, then forward. Step back, one, two, then forward. Step back, one, two, then forward. Then one more. Step back, one, two, forward. Step back, two, then forward. So let's relax a bit. Let's relax a bit. Some of you probably have a hard time rotating your hip. Maybe because of your lifestyle, like say, sitting down way too much, maybe driving. So my advice to you is make sure to warm your hips and your legs really hard so that you'll be able to do these movements smoothly. So now this time we'll add the turn. So for the turn, after you want to back leg will rotate to your front leg. So so we'll practice the rotation first. So again, back leg to your front leg. Back leg to your front leg. Then one more back leg to your front leg. Then relax. Then let's try it again with the other side. And small detail. Always put your hand up. I know it can be tiring, it can be too tight on your shoulders, but bring it up as comfortably as you can. It's gonna be hard at first, but please bear with it. I know you can do it. So let's try it again. This time on the other side. So back leg to your front. Back leg to your front. Back leg to your front leg. Then one more back leg to your front. Then relax. Let's try it again on the other side just to get used to it. Uh, if you're not used to complex movements, this is your chance. Your body is an uh, amazing uh, machine or mechanism. Let's discover how amazing it is. So let's try it again. Step back. Back leg to your front leg. Back leg to your front leg. Back leg. To your front leg and one more back leg to your front leg and relax let's try it again on the other side so step back back leg to your front leg back leg to your front leg back leg to your front leg then one more back leg to your front leg. then stand i think we're ready to do it with the one two combination so Follow along. Let's try it at medium speed or slow speed. So step back. One, two. Rotate. One, two. Rotate. One, two. Rotate. Then one more. One, two. Rotate. Let's try it on the other side. This time. Step back. One, two. Back leg to your front leg and rotate. So one, two, rotate. One, two, rotate. Don't forget, there's one more. One, two, rotate. Relax. Make sure you're still there. Now, let's try it with a bit of speed. I'm pretty sure you got the movements down. So let's go. Let's do it. So just relax. Step back. One, two, rotate. One, two, rotate. One, two, rotate. One, two, rotate. Then relax. Now let's try it on the other side. Do this. Step back. One, two, rotate. One, two, rotate. One, two, rotate. One, two, the thing. Then let's relax for a bit. Let's relax for a bit. Um, a little known trivia. I actually like training in these kinds of places. Back in the day, uh, when I was pursuing black belt, um, I was a, a student at UP 
I tend to train at Agad Oval a lot. So, lots of greens, lots of trees. I can read better there. And number two, um, for some reason, I find it peaceful training in this kind of environment. So, if you have the opportunity to train in this kind of environment, by all means do so. Uh, nothing wrong with the gym, nothing wrong with training at home, but this is nature right here. So, this time, we'll add the turn, uh, we'll add the hook punch with the turn. So, we'll do it slowly again. So, this time, let's take out the one, two first. So, step back from here, back leg, hook punch, then turn. So, boom. So, same thing, just elevate your elbow a bit, then twist your hip. The hook punch will come automatically from there. So let's try it slowly. Whoop. And let's try it slowly again. Whoop. Then one more. Then relax. And be mindful of your shoulders too. You don't want it tense. Once it's tense, it's gonna be slower. It's gonna be harder. So let's try it with the other leg. Step back. Elbows up. Elbow up. Bit up. Then turn. Same thing, same thing, let's same thing. Then relax. Now let's add a bit, a bit of speed on that one. So, just rotate your shoulders, just relax it. And of course, don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. The better your breathing is, the more efficient your movement is. So, I know you can do it. I know you're still there. Let's do it. Step back. Punch and turn. One more time. Punch and turn. Punch and turn. Punch and turn. Then just relax a bit. Now let's try it with the other other side. Step back. Punch and turn. Punch and turn. Punch and turn. Punch and turn. Then up. Oh. I'm pretty sure you're more than ready to do the one-two with the hook. Now, uh, now why did I add the hook? It's a bit complicated to do number one, but actually, if you know how to use your, your hip, it can be one of the easiest moves to do. So, just make sure you involve your hip into it. So, let's try it again. Step back, one, two, hook. Then you can relax a bit here. Because remember, we're increasing the movements from this point on. So let's try it again. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. Then relax. Breathe for a bit. Now let's try it with the other side. So step back, one, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. And relax. Still with me? Let's try it a bit faster. I'm pretty sure your body is very loose by now. Maybe you're sweating buckets right now. So, I know you, you can push it some more. So, let's do it again. Step back. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. And relax. Sorry, I lost my balance a bit there. Not need to worry. I know you did it. So let's try it on the other side. Step back. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. Then up. Now, we're almost close to the actual combination. Now, we will add the knee strike. Now, we'll isolate it again. So, step back, knee strike. Then, let's turn, knee strike. Let's turn again, knee strike. Now, if you notice from the back, I'm pulling my hands back. Now, I'm doing that to maximize the push of the hip. 
So maximize it for the knee strike. Don't just bring your hips up. It won't be enough. And it does not engage your hip at all. So hands back, then push. So turn, hands back and push. Then back, then relax. Now let's try that on the other side. So step back, turn, knee strike, then turn, knee strike, then turn, then one more. Strike, then turn, then relax. Now let's add a bit of speed on this set. So let's try again. Step back, strike, then turn, step back, back, then one more. Okay, now relax. Follow me guys. Let's relax. Now let's try it on the other side. Step back, strike, then turn, strike, then turn, strike, turn, strike, then back. Oh, we'll add the combinations now. And don't forget, the knee strike comes first before the turn. So, let's try it. Step back, one, two, knee strike, hook punch. Just relax, we'll try it again. One, two, knee strike, hook punch. One, two, strike, hook punch. And one more. One, two, knee strike, hook punch. Now, let's try it on the other side. Step back, one, two, strike, hook punch. One, two, strike, hook punch. One, two, strike, hook punch. And one more, one, two, strike, hook punch. Then back. Let's add a bit of speed on that one. So, never compromise your form for speed again let's aim for smoothness you get smooth you get fast there's no way around it now let's try it a bit faster if you're feeling full speed go for it let's try it again step back one two strike hook punch one two strike hook punch one two strike punch one two Strike, hook punch, and relax. We'll try it on the other side. Then, after this set, we'll complete the combo with the rondo stick. So, step back, one, two, strike, hook punch. One, two, strike, hook punch. One, two, strike, punch. One, two, strike, hook punch. And relax. We've done four moves so far. Now we'll go for the finale. Five moves. For this one, I'll do it slowly again. Just to remind you guys step back, one, two, strike. Now for your roundhouse kick, we'll do it with the front leg. Now you don't have to do it too high. You can do it too high, uh, high, meaning chin level or tumble level by all means. But hip height for this one is okay. So boop, bring it down, then hook punch. So one more time. One, two, knee strike, kick, then hook punch. One, two, knee strike, kick, hook punch. One, two, knee strike, kick, hook punch, then relax. We're doing it slow. I know five moves and turns can be too much, 
Now, let's do it slow because I'm pretty sure your body is ready to do all the five moves. So let's do it again. Step back. One, two. Knee strike. Kick. Yep. Then turn. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I almost forgot. One, two. Knee strike. Kick. Then hook punch. One, two. Knee strike. Kick. Hook punch, then one more. One, two, knee strike, kick, then hook. Then up. Relax. Just relax. Let's do it a bit fast. Just, just a tad bit. Hopefully, you can follow along. I know, pretty sure you can. So let's do it. Step back. One, two, knee strike, kick, turn. And hook punch. One, two, knee strike, kick, hook punch and turn. One, two, knee strike, kick, hook punch and turn. Then one more. Two, knee strike, kick, hook punch and turn. Then relax. Let's try it again. Other side. Step back. One, two, knee strike, kick. Then hook punch and turn. One, two, knee strike, kick, hook punch and turn. One, two, knee strike, kick, hook punch and turn. Then one more. One, two, knee strike, kick, hook punch and turn. Then relax. Up, loosen up. Let's do it as fast as we can. Now, we'll do this for two more rounds. One more for a bit fast now. The last one, when I say start, we'll do everything. Now this is gonna be the second to the last. So one more time. Step back, one, two, knee strike, kick, hook punch. One, two, strike, kick, hook punch. One, two, strike, kick, punch. Then one more. Then up. Breathe. And then we'll go through it with the other side. So step back. One, two. Knee strike. Kick. Hook punch. One, two. Knee strike. Kick. Hook punch. One, two. Knee strike. Kick. One, two, knee strike, kick, hook punch, then up. Be nervous guys, this will be the last one. Give it all you got. I'll only give you one set for each side. When they say go, let's do it. Ready? Let's step back on this leg. Go! Now let's try it one last time. Step back on this leg. Ready, go. Hey! Then we're done with our main activity. Let's relax, let's cool down for a bit, then we go for some stretching. Now that we're done with our main workout, now let's stretch so that we can avoid soreness and to lengthen your muscles. So from here, we'll start from the bottom. I'm gonna face this way. Keep your legs straight, legs together, and reach. Or sit. Don't force it guys, just relax. It will eventually go down. Breathe, inhale, then as you exhale, just let it all out. By doing so, 
I can relax my body more. So one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, I can barely reach my toes. Now, one more. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, slowly go up or you can bend your knees going up. Now, for the next part, let's stretch out your quads. Now, uh, given the environment that we have, I'll do something else, but for now, let's do it this way. If I'm holding onto something, I'll hold on to that. Now, for now, I'll be balancing on one leg. Hold, then stretch. Make sure to stretch out this portion. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. Then slowly go down. Now let's try the other leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Then let's try it one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Then slowly go down. Phew. Now, this time, let's stretch out your adductors or your groin area because I'm pretty sure it's a bit beat up from all the kicking. From here, go outside shoulders or somewhere longer. Now from here, sit back, hips up, and let this stretch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Now, Let's try it on the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, let's reach down. Just relax here. Stretch the back part of your legs and your butt. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, then exhale. Now, let's stretch our abs, hands back, reach back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, then inhale, then exhale. Slowly go back up. Now, for the next part, let's stretch our arms. Arms straight, then reach. Keep your chest up too. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. Of course, don't forget the other arm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. Now, let's stretch our trice triceps. Because we've done a lot of punching. And I'm pretty sure it's a bit beat up from all of that. So, Reach for your elbows, then push it down. Keep your body straight too. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Then other arm. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. Don't forget your wrist. So, palms face forward, then stretch. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Other, 
other hand. Inhale, then exhale, inhale, then exhale, inhale, then exhale. Very good. Now, don't forget the neck. Side raise first. You can bring your arms just to lengthen your neck some more. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Other side. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Then, up. Stretch this part. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Then last, that's last, last stretch. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Then inhale, then exhale. Now, last part is warm breathing. I want you to come out of this workout feeling refreshed. Uh, feeling less stress or no stress at all. So follow my hand movements, it won't be complicated. So inhale, palms down, then exhale. One more time. Inhale, palms down, then exhale. Then final one. Inhale, palms down, then exhale. Guys, thank you very much for joining us today in our Shadow Karate activity and please take advantage of your forest or green spaces because those are your best places to get oxygen and over two it can activate sweats. So uh, now we would like to thank DNR and for for as well as we to commemorate the, the International Day of Forest and that's every March 21 and Please check their Facebook for updates for their upcoming. So, see you all.